Welcome back to the Ninth Gym program, and today we are going to be talking about some of these tournament results that we have uh, from VictoryRoadVGC.com. I'll link this exact page that I'm looking at in the description down below. They have some pastes. It's a good thing to look at if you're looking for ideas for a new team or just want to stay in the know of good teams, good things that people are using. So let me take this sip of water because I've been trying to for a minute now. Hold on. Okay. Sip of water taken. Let's go ahead and look at this. So it was in almost 300 players, 298 players. Uh, it happened last weekend. And uh, yeah, it's a Victory Road Tundra Challenge. Pretty cool stuff. Season 7. Uh, it was an open team sheet format. Interesting stuff. Good to know. Anyway, nine rounds. Nine rounds. That's a pretty big tournament here. Um, so let's look at it. Nine rounds and then top cut, uh, then top cut, um, you know, top cut. So uh, we have, you know, players that got first that were like 7-2. It looks like 7-2 is, yeah, 7-2 was the cutoff um, for top. So yeah, everybody that's X2, it seems like top probably. That's likely the case. Anyway. Um, let's look at these teams. Do we also have pokey pace for a lot of them? They don't have the EVs um, So that is something to note, uh, you know, we don't have the spreads and stuff But we do have the move set the item um, and the Pokemon so good stuff. Anyway, let's look at it. So Some trends a lot of Tapu Fini um, Makes a lot of sense. That's something that we expected a good bit of Metagross uh, Is my uh, mouse here? Yeah, cool um, good bit of Kartana, a couple of Kartanas, a bunch of Incineroar, Lapras in second place, pretty interesting. We have Tornadus on that, so it's like a Tailwind Lapras or Tailwind Metagross team, really cool stuff. Uh, Blacephalon, Zapdos, uh, a lot of Glastrier, you know, really strong, uh, um, Trick Room Pokemon. Good bit of Lando, good bit of Amoongus, good bit of Rotoms, um, you know, Scattered, it's Rotom Wash, Rotom Heat, pretty close to 50-50 for those. A million Tapu Fini. Uh, you know, doesn't, you know, that's everywhere. You know, what are you going to, what do you, what else can you say? A lot of it. Not, not as much Galarian Moltres as I was expecting. There is, the highest place was seven, which is top eight, but the very end of top eight. So yeah, some interesting stuff. Um, anyway, let's look at these individual teams. So in first place, we have Joseph Ugart, Joe UX9, more commonly known as. Go watch him on Twitter. Uh, I said Twitter. Go watch him on Twitch. He's a great player. Um, really good content. So definitely, you know, do that. Anyway, this team is really good. Kartana, Rotom Heat, Gastronon, Lando T, Dragapult, and Tyranitar. Really powerful team. We have a Pokepace here, so let's look at this. Um, is that everything? I don't like five Pokemon. The Gastron. I gotta move my thing on here. That's annoying. It's not a big deal. So uh here we have Gastrodon as well. Acid Armor. That's crazy. That's actually really cool. Rotom Heat at Safety Goggles is pretty interesting. Lando T at Choice Scarf. So we're seeing more. We're seeing a Choice Scarf Lando getting first place, which is pretty wild. Uh, Kartana at AV, which is pretty normal. And then, uh, yeah, Life Orb, Dragapult, nothing uh, weird there. And Tyranitar at Weakness Policy, nothing weird there. Nothing weird with many of these sets, although Acid Armor is pretty interesting. Um, Nasty Plot, Rotom Heat's nothing uh, too crazy, but Scarf Lando is pretty big. Uh, something that we haven't seen too much of yet, um, this format. So, pretty good stuff there. Great stuff to Joe. Great player. This guy's a great, great player. Getting first at this is, is uh, pretty big. A 300 player, you know, that's the size of a lot of the common regionals we have. So, yeah, first place at that is pretty crazy. Um, next, we have Marco Silva getting second place here. Pretty similar team um, with the one Pokemon. I say pretty similar team. They only shared one Pokemon. I'm crazy. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, we see Kartana. Kartana is a really, really powerful team. Uh, teammates, let's see if it's AV. It is AV. He ran Guillotine. What a monster. Guillotine. I said Guillotine. Not, not even ironically, I said Guillotine. He ran Guillotine. What a monster. That's wild. That's crazy. Uh, the one you can't see is Incineroar. Nothing too crazy about that. You know, it's just a fake out parting shot. Dual stab, intimidate, figgy berry. Nothing crazy at all there. Uh, Metagross, nothing crazy. Uh, Kartana Guillotine, wild. Um, yeah, normal Amoongus, normal Tornadus, it seems. Going Citrus Berry, no Sash. Um, this is the more commonly used um, item. Not like, like Sash isn't really commonly used for it. It's just like seems really strong. 
Uh, but Tailwind Taunt uh, Air Slash Brutal Swing is pretty interesting. You can activate your own uh, Metagross Weakness Policy with Brutal Swing, so that's a pretty cool thing that is got here. And then we also have Lapras G-Max at Life Orb. So this is a, uh, you know, like Tailwind uh, to take advantage of Tailwind set. Can you see my highlights? Yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, to take advantage of Tailwind set with Life Orb G-Max. Pretty cool stuff. I like the team. Uh, also, awesome stuff to Marco Silva getting second place with Lapras. Lapras is not dead. It's very, very powerful, this format. Next, we have David Carrier. Carrier? David? Carrier? Carrier? D I suck at names, dude. I'm going to go with by these. Knee Rainbow. Um, anyway, cool stuff. We got uh, Urshifu. It's probably Dark. It seems like uh, everybody's going for Dark Urshifu. It is. It's Focus Sash. Let me go ahead and click on my thing and move it down. Uh, Urshifu at Sash, Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch, Close Combat, Protect, nothing crazy there. Uh, the most common way of running this Pokemon is Sash, so yeah, nothing too crazy there. Reggie Lucky at Magnet is pretty interesting. You know, doing a little bit more damage is pretty cool. Uh, we have Glastrier with Dusclops. Um, that's a very standard way of using Glastrier. Uh, this format is uh, Glastrier with Dusclops, but it is Life Orb Glastrier, which is interesting. Instead of going for the, um, instead of going for like uh like brick break to activate your weakness policy going for haze to stop opponents um buff strategies so that your glass drill with life orb is just the strongest thing on the field i like that idea a lot that's kind of how i've been running it a lot um but usually opting for tapu finney to be the haze user of the team instead of Dusclops. but i guess this pokemon is just more of a uh, swiss army knife with uh trick room haze and then pain split and nightshade do being able to do damage as well as heal itself back up so yeah i like this team a lot uh, nothing too crazy on Tapu Fini, you know, Wiki Berry, which is pretty standard. Uh, Calm Mind, Dual Stab, Protect, pretty standard stuff. Uh, Instant Roar, very standard set. Glass Trier, yeah, pretty cool stuff. We see um, Thunderbolt here instead of Thunder Cage, which I think makes sense. I don't think Thunder Cage is seeing that much play right now. Um, and yeah, Thunderbolt's good, but uh, Electro Web, Volt Switch, Protect to be the standard. And then one flex move, and he went for Thunderbolt. So, pretty good stuff there. Um... Yeah, good stuff to Marco Silva. Next, or uh, good stuff to David. Good stuff to Marco, too. But uh, yeah, yeah. Props to David for third place. Uh, actually going 8-1 in Swiss, which is pretty wild. 7-2 uh, in Swiss. Getting fourth place, we have Tommaso. Uh, Benedetti Magma Cap. Uh, you, you know names. You know how names work. There's some names sometimes. I don't know. Um, anyway, pretty good stuff here. Awesome team. Uh, we see Spectreer, which is very interesting. This is a uh, Pokemon that usually doesn't see any play. Um, just because it's, like, people thought it was going to be really bad. Spell Tag. This is interesting. So we have a Spell Tag Cavallani, um, which is Spectreer. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. Grim Nay. That just gives you uh, special attack. So that's Moxie for special attack, I believe. I Honestly, I don't know. I haven't explored this Pokemon at all. But I assume it is. Um, wait, serious nature? What is, what is this? Oh, they're all serious nature. We don't know the natures, <laughs> right? Fair enough. Okay. Um, but yeah, we have Spectre at Spell Tag. A lot of people were saying they wanted to use this Pokemon with like Choice Scarf. Um, so seeing a Spell Tag is pretty interesting. Uh, Shadow Ball, Bulldoze to self proc your Metagross weakness policy. I mean, this Pokemon's pretty fast, so. That's pretty cool. We have Nasty Plot on it as well. So Nasty Plot, Snarl, Shadow Ball, Bulldoze. Very interesting set for Spectre. I'm glad to see a little bit of usage on that Pokemon. Incineroar, Tapu Fini, nothing uh, out of the out of the ordinary there. Actually, everything super standard there. Uh, same with Metagross. Uh, same with Amoongus. And same with Thunder, Thunderous. It uh, does have uh, Wild Charge, uh, Defiant, Thunderous. I was reading this as Tornadus the first time, and that was uh, very incorrect of myself. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at that. Defiant, Thunderous, Life Orb, Defiant, pretty cool stuff. Wild Charge, Fly, Dual Stab with Superpower and Protect. Pretty standard stuff for a Thunderous, but still really cool team nonetheless. Uh, love seeing Spectre. That's a Pokemon that we were not expecting to see really, like at all. So it's pretty cool to see it. Um, so awesome stuff. That is top four. That rounds out our top four. Um, now we're into top, f uh, top eight, fifth place, getting Koki. Um, awesome stuff. We do not have a pace for this, unfortunately, but, um, it does seem to be very similar to, uh, you know, other strats that we've seen. Uh, we have Tornadus and Metagross, which is a very common strat. Regilecki is the other fast Pokemon of the team. Having Electroweb as another way of, uh, speed control 
Incineroar, Roar, Tapu Fini, this is the main core, like the glue of a lot of teams. Um, you'll see like a lot of teams with like Kartana, Incineroar, Roar, Tapu Fini, or something like that, and it it's it's very effective. Um, and then we also have Arshifu, which uh, one would assume it's dark, especially with Tapu Fini already being on the team. No need to double up. Uh, but I mean that you already have Incineroar for dark too. But like, yeah, this Pokemon has more usage um, than that. Uh, anyway, that is about it for Koki. Awesome stuff. Cool team. I like the team. Uh, now we have Adrian Hurley uh, getting 6th place, 7-2 in Swiss. Pretty good stuff here. We got Zapdos as well as the Dusclops and Chilling Nay Glass Chair. Pretty cool team. Uh, Blacephalon. So a couple of oddball Pokemon. Zapdos we don't see that much now that it doesn't have Tailwind. Um, and uh, we're not seeing Blacephalon as much anymore either blacephalon's like kind of a uh a not a known pokemon like not very many people use this pokemon because it's kind of weird but uh it's main its signature attack does a lot of damage to both opposing pokemon so it's definitely good like it's definitely a good pokemon uh nonetheless uh yeah it's cool and then we have uh tailwind women's god as well which is pretty cool so it's a very uh flexible team and yeah definitely uh deserves top eight so awesome stuff adrian in seventh place at seven two record, we have Elliot with a we have a pace. He sees we see Togemaru. That's pretty cool. So we have Lightning Rod Togemaru um, to assist the Moltres Galar as weakness policy as well. So um, you know you have your own way. So probably Volt Switch. So this will be like a physical attacking Pokemon with Zing, strong Zing Zap, Fake Out, and Nuzzle. But you have Volt Switch to uh, hit your Moltres's weakness policy. So that is pretty cool stuff. Um, I like that a lot. He ran with Shuka Berry. You know, you have two two different flying type Pokemon on the team as well to just soak up these attacks. So, you know, if you're going to get, like, Max Quaked, you can uh, switch around and waste an attack, which is good. You also have Rillaboom with Grassy Surge to have opponent's Earthquakes into your Heat Ran or even your own with Lando. Um, you know, if you, like, already protected the turn before and then don't want to go for a double protect, that's pretty cool stuff. We see Taunt on this team as well, or, or on the Heat Ran rather, which is pretty interesting. Uh, you don't see that that frequently, so that's a pretty cool um, tech to have on Heat Ran. Because uh, this team would not have the best time up against the Trick Room team. I mean, it's not bad because it's filled with a lot of mid speed Pokemon, things like Rillaboom, the Heat Ran, um, you know, Tapu Fini. So, yeah. I like the team a lot, though. I do like Moltres Galar. I think it's a really, really powerful Pokemon. We see Hurricane, Fiery Wrath, Nasty Plot Protect. Pretty pretty standard stuff for Moltres Galar as well. So, yeah. Rock Tomb, though, is, is pretty interesting. We have, see Rock Tomb on uh, Lando T in, in place of uh, the Rock um, rock Slide. So, that's a uh, pretty interesting tech. Let me go ahead and scroll this up a little. Or scroll down a little bit just so you can see the token tomorrow because that is an interesting pick. Um, you know, you usually see like lightning rod, um, Raichu more so, but not really for any big reason. Cause like you just really need the nuzzle and fake out. So, you know, if you want this typing and, and like stuff on your team, you can go for that as well. Um, so yeah, cool team. Good stuff to Elliot Legru. Next we have our last player in top eight, Hip Hippolyte Bernard. I'm sorry, red silver. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, Hippolyte, not Hippo Fool. Not the paid app. Hippo light. Um, anyway, not to make fun of your team. You're a great player. Good job on, on getting top eight here. This is a great. 7-2 is a great record. Top eight is amazing. Good stuff. Um, team's really cool looking. You know, we have uh, Dusclops and uh, Glass Trier as probably the main, one of the main um, things here. We have Grim Snarl at Light Clay. Pretty cool stuff. Dual, stream, dual Screen and Taunt. You know, Fake Out and Spirit Break. So pretty interesting stuff there as well. Um, you know, Lando, we have a Rotom Wash, Citrus Berry, and Nasty Plot, Dual Stab, and Protect. Pretty standard stuff there. And Kartana at Life Orb um, at the very bottom. Let me go ahead and scroll down so you can see that. We have Kartana at Life Orb here. Detect in the Dual Stab plus Sacred Sword. So no uh, Swords Dance there, but Life Orb. Pretty interesting stuff. I like the team a lot. It's a cool team. Um, you know, we're seeing a lot of um, Glass Trier. Um, mostly with Dusclops as well. So, yeah, and uh, notable as well, it is the weakness policy variant, and he does have Rock Tomb to hit his own Glastier and lower its speed um, for his weakness policy as well as lowering speed. Pretty cool stuff. I like it. Need a sip of water. <laughs> I got something in my throat. <clears> throat> uh, 
All right, that will top off our top eight here. Um, all great players, all great teams. Let's glance over the rest of them. Andrew Ding, great player in VGC 2020, has shown off a lot of great tops. No team sheet for this, unfortunately. Um, actually, I'm not going to be looking at any more team sheets unless it's something that's wild. Um, but, yeah, uh, just because there's so many and, and we're already, what, like 15 minutes into the video. And I don't think I'm going to edit this one. So, yeah, Andrew Ding, awesome stuff, great player. Um, you know, he got second at a regional last uh, like during 2020 and I think he got actually he might have gotten a first place I don't remember was this the guy that beat hmm yeah Andrew Ding won over Wolfie in finals at one of the events this year I believe I believe that's the correct person I might be wrong but I believe that's right um Rillaboom with uh the heat ran this is a very strong core because you get to have the power of earthquakes which is really good you still have to be careful of things like Metagross with uh you know, stomping tantrum and like high horsepower from glass trier and stuff for it. But um, weakening the earthquakes from Landos is really good for uh, for this Pokemon. We see Urshifu, we see Tornadus, and then the Dusclops glass trier that we see a lot during the tournament. Um, and for good reason. It's one of the strongest Trick Room cores that you can be using. Speaking of strong Trick Room cores, in 10th place we have Lee Junhee with uh, the Cresselia and Stakataka. Pretty interesting stuff. I did want to look at this just for the stack attack. We see Life Orb, Beast Boost, Gyro Ball, Rock Slide, Body Press, Protect. Awesome stuff. Love the team. Uh, Cresselia with Trick Room, Ally Switch, Ice Beam, Helping Hand. Um, awesome stuff. Like the team a lot. Raichu with the Moltres Galar for that uh, weakness policy and Lightning Rod. Pretty cool stuff. I like the team. Expert Belt, Kartana. Interesting team. This really, really uh, had a, a bunch of interesting... Um, antiquities on the team. Uh, next, we have Dave Cognetta, Nico D. Cognetta. I call him Dave because that's what it is on Twitter. Um, but yeah, this guy is a really good player as well. Um, you know, definitely showing off, getting 8 1 and then getting top 16. Awesome stuff to Dave um, or Nico. Um, but yeah, Entei, love seeing Entei. I want to see the set. So we have Assault Vest, um, which is really interesting. Inner focus, which is not too interesting, is normal. Um, but we see a bulldoze to hit our weakness policy on Metagross, so that is a pretty cool stuff. We have screens, dual screen, um, dual screens, and thunder wave, which is a really good way of playing Grim Snarl as well. Like it a lot. Entei with Snarl, Sacred Fire, Extreme Speed, and Bulldoze. Awesome stuff. I love the team. This is a really cool team. Uh, next, we have Max in 12th with a. Uh, actually. Was that the same as second place team? Uh, no. It's very similar though. Um, yeah, I was thinking that maybe they like work together, but no. Uh, give credit where credit is due. This is an awesome team. Um, Amoongus, we see the Ronum Heat, which we've been seeing a lot of. Um, you know, we, we went from like zero good fire type Pokemon or like Arcanine and Incineroar, like so one good fire type Pokemon because they're pretty much the same, to Incineroar, Arcanine plus Rotom Heat being very used, uh, Entei, which I think is a underused, really good fire type, and Heat Ran. So like we gained a lot of good, um, you know, fire typing uh, Pokemon, and we're seeing that a lot at play here. I mean, we, we always had Rotom Heat, but like, you know, Rotom Heat is a little bit better now, you know, with things like Metagross more so in the meta. We have a lot of really good Pokemon like Galastra in the meta. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely seeing more play now than it has in the past of, of VGC 2020. Not as much Tyranitar as I was expecting. We did see one getting first place and then one here now at 12th place. But, yeah, Tyr Tyranitar is definitely a little underused. Um, but definitely a really strong Pokemon. Tornadus um, and... Yeah, Tapu Fini. Great strong uh, Firewater Grass Core here with Rotom Heat, Amoongus, and Tapu Fini. And then just rounding out that solid team with the Tornadus and Metagross. So, yeah, good stuff. And then Tyranitar, which is always just a good stuff Pokemon. Great stuff. Uh, next, we have in 13th place, Alex, with the Amoongus, Incineroar, Tapu Fini, Guzzlord, Dusclops, and Celesteela. So, let's look at this pace real quick. Um, Guzzlord is wild. Let me go ahead and scroll down some so you can see this Guzzlord. Wild. Weakness policy, beast boost, nuts. Whoops. Um, with Draco Meteor, Dark Pulse, Sludge Bomb, Protect. Awesome stuff. This is something you really like to see. Um, we see Misty Seed, Celesteela with uh, the partnered Tapu Fini, which is really interesting. 
Um, yeah, it's a cool way of using it. You usually see like leftover leech seed guy, but uh, misty seed leech seed could be really good too. Earthquake, which is a pretty interesting pick as well, and heavy slam, which is not super expert. Uh, whoa, whoa, hold on, expert belt on the Amoongus? What are we doing? That's crazy. Somebody wanted to hit Tapu Finney's, uh, the Tapus really hard with uh, Sludge Bomb. That is wild. That is a really interesting pick, Expert Belt here. You don't have Koba Berry anywhere else. Like, that's a really interesting pick. I like it. That was really cool to see. Um, yeah, Dusclops, pretty normal stuff. We have Pain, pain Split, Brick Break. Um, wants to assume that's to hit the Guzzlord. And, yeah, pretty uh, pretty cool stuff. We don't have... We actually see Life Orb Tapu Fini as well, which means it's an offensive one with no Calm Mind. It's Ice Beam, Moon Blast, and Muddy Water. So, some really interesting stuff there. Um, crazy stuff from Alex. Cool stuff. Next, we have 14th place Brady Smith, B Smithy, uh, with the Kartana, Urshifu, Tapu Fini, Reggie Lecky, and the Dusclops Glass Trier. Nothing too spicy here. A pretty standard, but really good, um, team. I mean, maybe there's some stuff that's not standard. Calm Mind looking pretty standard. Life Orb Glass Trier in place of the Weakness Policy, uh, Glass Trier that we see more frequently. Um, yeah, Haze, Dusclops, pretty cool stuff. Light Clay, Regilecki, love to see it. That is some cool stuff. Light Screen, Reflect, um, Regilecki. Not all in, it is uh, that's expected, so pretty good stuff there. Awesome team to Brady. Next, we have in 15th place, Alexander Lissardi with the uh, very common, um, but not like super common actually because the fire type can be whatever, but Amoongus and Tapu Fini uh, and then fire type. We see that a lot here as you can see here. Uh, you know, both these teams, 12th and 13th place. Um, there's a lot of them that are just like, yeah, a lot of them. It's a very common uh, trick uh, or a very common core. Um, and it's very, very effective as you see. So, yeah, Alexander Lasardi with the good stuff here. We also have Moltres Galar without a self procker. Actually, it is probably self procking with uh, yeah, weakness policy there. And Reggie Lecky. It does have Volt Switch, so you can just do that as well if you want to. Um, probably, probably not going to be, um, doing that as frequently. And we see clear smog on Amoongus as well, so that he doesn't have to just haze away his Moltres. Galar, um, weakness policy, instead he can go for clear smog, um, which makes a lot of sense. Pretty good stuff. Next we have Luciano rounding off top 16 in 16th place with the stack attacker on his team without any trick room setter. Actually really interesting. I mean, obviously stack attacker can set up trick room itself, but... Uh, you know, no other Trick Room setter to uh, set it before it comes in. It's pretty interesting stuff there. Dual Stab, Trick Room, Protect, Life Orb, pretty standard set there. Uh, Incineroar, pretty standard stuff. Actually, not that standard. We do see Assault Vest, which is interesting. Um, you know, in, fa in favor of Parting Shot, we have U-Turn then because of Assault Vest. Uh, pretty cool. Mamoswine, Focus Sash. Interesting Focus Sash on uh, Mamoswine. And Weak... Wait, what? Weakness Policy, Zapdos. Weakness policy, Zapdos. That's wild. Uh, Ice Shard. Cool. Cool. I like that. That is very neat. I like that. All right. That will be rounding off our top 16. Now I'm just going to be looking over the rest and seeing if there's anything cool. Um, maybe looking at a pace here and there. But in 17th place, right off the bat, we have a really cool thing. Alessio with the Blaziken and Zapdos and Bisharp. Awesome team. You can lead that Blaziken and Bisharp just like before with Mega Blaziken. You would lead Mega Blaziken and Bisharp so that if you wanted to intimidate the Blaziken, you would have to intimidate the Defiant user being that Bisharp. So that's a very strong uh, team core as well. And then we also have Lando for our own um, kind of things like that and an alternate Dynamaxer as well. Um, see seeing that Amoongus, Tapu Fini, and Fire type core once again. Very powerful. Uh, Kartana, Urshifu, Tapu Fini, Regilecki, and the Dusclops and Glacier. Awesome stuff. Next, we have the Bronze on Glacier, which is interesting. But we also have Nihiligo. Nihiligo should probably have. Oh, we actually have a full team pace here. Wait, no, we don't. It's the same way we've had all the time. Weird of me to mention that. Anyway, Trick Room, Nihiligo, Life Orb, which is interesting. So it's going to be an offensive, probably max speed. Um, Nihiligo, unless the team is more focused on setting up Trick Room, but it seems to be just like, actually, yeah, it's looking to be pretty hard towards Trick Room, so 
awesome stuff there. Pretty cool team. Uh, next we got, you know, Primarina, which is interesting to still be seeing a lot of. We are seeing a, definitely a downtrend in Rillaboom, though. Um, you know, I've only seen, what, like, two Rillabooms here. Um, so these water, so these strong water type Pokemon are definitely a little bit safer to use now. Um, you know, like Tapu Fini, obviously the trade-off is really worth it, even in a very filled with Red Rillaboom meta. Um, just due to that, you know, um, grassy, ter or the, uh, misty terrain. But then we are seeing Pokemon like Lapras and Gastrodon and the, uh, Primarina making a comeback, uh, from that. So that's pretty interesting. Cresselia, even though the team is not looking to be a very hard Trick Room team, Cresselia is there as an option, probably has Icy Wind, probably has some other stuff. We don't have a team pace for that, unfortunately, but it's still good to see. Kartana, we see more Moltres Galar, which is cool, more Nihiligo. Um, let's see this Nihiligo. We see Life Orb here again as well. Protect, zero IV, attack, makes sense. Sludge Bomb, Foul Play, which is interesting. Foul Play is interesting on there. No Trick Room. Um, as well, which is something to stay, say, something to note. I don't know what I was saying. Uh, Comfy on this team is interesting. On the next team, Comfy without like Moltres, Galar, or Lapras or anything, or Gudra even. Um, what is this Comfy doing? Wikiberry, Triage, of course, Draining Kiss. Uh, what do we see? Weakness policy, Dragapult. Okay, that's what the uh, that's what it is doing mostly. So we have weakness policy, Dragapult with uh. Priority from Triage, Draining Kiss from Comfy. So that's a pretty cool strat to try out. Um, definitely noise. Parakion at Focus Sash. Interesting. Uh, next we have Danielle. Daniel. Maybe it's Danielle or Danielle. I don't know. Can't tell. There's only one L. Can't tell one L. Um, anyway, uh, we got Ferrothorn a little interesting. Mamoswine as well. But we also have the Raichu and Galarian Moltres, something we've seen that's been pretty popular, um, especially after the Ashton Cox thing. Ashton Cox made that really popular, I think. Uh, I think he definitely popularized um, the Moltres Galar a little bit more. Uh, but, I mean, it's a, it's just a very strong. Next, we got Kyle Living House. Love to see it. We got the Dragapult with the Glastra Dusclops. Pretty standard stuff here. Um, but, yeah, definitely, like, standard because of how effective it is. Light Clay, Regilecki with dual screens and Electroweb, Volt Switch, pretty cool stuff there. Uh, Calm Mind, Tapu Fini, nothing too wild. We do have Weakness Policy, Dragapult, which is a little interesting. Um, so yeah, pretty cool stuff. Next we have, uh, what else do we got? We got Clefairy here, which is cool. This is going to be a, another Weakness Policy, Zapdos. No, it's Life Orb. Interesting. So it's Life Orb with Rising Voltage and Heat Wave. Uh, and Hurricane, so pretty good stuff. There's going to be a Dynamax most of the time, Zapdos, it seems. Um, Urshifu, Dark Urshifu with uh, Focus Sash. Clefairy, uh, Eviolite, of course. Leftovers, Tapu Fini, which is interesting. Pretty cool stuff. And then last um, but not least, uh, 26th, we have Charles Jones X2, most likely the last X2 here. Um, awesome stuff. We see Colossal. Col I said that weird. We see Colossal. We also see a Mesprit. Interesting. So we see Safety Goggles, Mesprit setting up with in trick Imprison and Trick Room. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, Psychic and Ice Beam for good coverage. Pretty cool stuff. We have Blacephalon as well. Wait, really? We saw Blacephalon? Choice Scarf, Hypnosis, Blacephalon. Weird. But cool. I mean, Choice Scarf, Mind Blown is nothing too new. But, like, yeah, Hypnosis is pretty wild on there. Uh, and then Colossal, G-Max, of course, very powerful. Um, Rillaboom at Choice Band, pretty interesting. Lumberry, Thunderous, pretty cool. Um, and then, yeah, the uh, Water Urshifu with Surging Strikes for our boy Colossal. Or uh, Aqua Jet, rather, for our boy Colossal. So pretty cool stuff. I like the teams. All the teams are really interesting. I just wanted to go ahead and... Uh, you know, make a little video about this today because I think, uh, you know, looking over tournament results is really fun and very knowledgeable and definitely a good thing to do if you want to play the game competitively or need some ideas for the game competitively. Excuse me. So pretty cool stuff. Anyway, congrats to all the players, especially, um, you know, Joe UX9. That's awesome. You did crazy, um, crazy run. Awesome stuff. Follow the page Victory Road VGC. Follow them on Twitter. You'll get a lot of notifications. And uh, yeah, I'll link this down in the description down below if you want to, um, you know, 
look at the page for yourself and get a little bit of uh get a little bit more knowledge of the situation isn't that weird how the black uh outlines my hand in this can you see that with with my terrible light and green screen it looks cool it looks like i'm a cartoon anyway that is it for the video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like comment subscribe it makes a huge difference uh you know go down to the description down below watch me live on twitch and uh yeah follow twitter follow me on twitter join my discord support me on patreon all those things do all those things goodbye